Welcome back to Nest Studios, I'm your host Bird Tendo. Today we're having a look at a Pokemon TCG Great Ball. Not only that, but we're also having a look at something else behind here after this little pan over. So I hope you guys enjoy this new video uh, method today. And here is our Blissey Tin. Blissey known for being a defensive Pokemon Pikachu. Not really Blissey there, Pokemon and Pokemon Go on there, which is pretty pretty nice. And Snorlax, who is also a pretty defensive Pokemon himself. You could pause, take a good look at that right there. All I know is that it says Pikachu has a gift for you. So, we're going to get this great ball out of its packaging. And again, I hope you guys enjoy this brand new way of recording videos. Basically what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to, I have a microphone, I also got a little bit of lighting as well too, and my phone camera as well. So it will be a bit of a while for me to get the packaging off of this Pokeball right here, or Great Ball as we call it. I recorded this footage last night, and well I just needed to get some rest because I didn't really have enough time to get the footage ready. I mean, I had a closing shift at work. It was a new position I'm trying. It's general services. I'm mainly putting the cardboard away and checking the bathrooms every once in a while. But then again, there's always something new you can always try. If something's getting old, you gotta change the shoes pretty much. As I continuously struggle with plastic on this. Oh yes, it's a pretty big struggle, and now the plastic is off, which is pretty cool. And we get this popped out right away, and inside, of course, is Pokemon cards. We have a pack of Rebel Clash. It's kind of familiar. Ooh, a little face right there. Vivid Voltage. There's my face again. And Cosmic Eclipse. And a nice little Dragonite coin. Kind of familiar to the luxury ball that I opened up, but of course it didn't really give us any pulls, but at least I got something, uh, some cards to open up, so there's that right there. Pretty shiny, pretty nice, pretty cool. So, we're going to close that Pokeball. Oh, didn't close all the way. Now it will. You can just stand right back there, and we are going to be opening up some card. Of course, we always go oldest to newest. Cosmic Eclipse to Vivid Voltage. Let's go with these three baby Pokemon fairy types. Excuse me while I take a swig of coffee. That is some good Joe. So, the packaging is off. Here we go, Sun and Moon. Not even going to spoil myself with the code. So you guys go right ahead, take it for yourself. That's yours. Get what you want with that. And we always do the pack trick, of course, as any other Pokemon TCG YouTuber would. Yeah, TCGO ain't really fun, but enough about that. So inside, we have a nice little water energy. Misty and Lorelei. Pretty nice tag team. Island Challenge Amulet. Next up, we have Erica. We have Golit to Piter, Apom, there is Onyx, Tepig having a little nap, a reverse holographic Cricketune with a lot of words on the card, and check that out, Rush Ram and Zekrom GX Tag Team. And the AOK symbol didn't really come up, so nothing beats a good thumbs up. I tried to get it in a focus, but unfortunately it doesn't really work, so apologies for me. Constantly, constantly trying my best to get N and his Zekrom and Rushram. I know a buddy on Twitter who would love this card, but on a butt, you know, I don't give away my cards, so... I usually just keep one, and if I get another copy, I'll... I, well, mainly, I just paste them up at my cat's new tree. It's a pretty big tree with 
two little hidey homes one small perch and a big perch up front not too shabby at all not too shabby whatsoever yeah as you can see the focus isn't really working out pretty well I can't believe I pretty much wasted my time but then again always trying to experiment nothing wrong with that at all absolutely nothing wrong with that but the moves are fl fabled flare bolts and cross break GX all I know is the former does a discard either fire or lightning or a discard of something else here is my last attempt but you know what oh yeah cross cross break GX I believe is just does attacks but you know Rebel Clash is up next with a gigantic with Dynamax not Gigantamax but Dynamax Cinderace and my box cutter makes a nice slit it's uh, the packaging nice little Galarian Farfetch there to say hello unfortunately the code is green so that's nothing nice a big thumbs down right there but you can always take that code there's always a little bit of a reality between online and real life but they always seem to come together no matter what so oh look at that another water energy that's pretty cool there's a capture energy we have Chatot there's Drake Cloak Galarian Farfetched Galarian Meowth, huh, two and one right there, Caterpie. We have Galarian Col Corsola. We have a Litwick. A reverse holographic Applin, which is pretty neat, not gonna lie. And the final card is an Aegis Slash regular rare. Gotta admit that packaging was full of Galarian Mons right there. After all, B is from Galar. You can see her perching on my desk right there along with my Hot Wheels guys so we'll just get all that taken care of shiny little Dragonite coin that doesn't really come into focus and Vivid Voltage with the giant chonk himself Pikachu and as I accidentally dropped the packaging can't believe I just did that but you know what accidents happen that's okay so the packaging's off. Nice little Yanma. I do like Yanma. I think it's a cool bug type. Ooh, check that out. A white code. That is really, really nice. So take that for yourself. Can't wait to see what's inside of that. So then. One. Two. Three. I think that's it. Okay, yeah, I kind of got off track there, sorry. We have a Psychic Type Energy. Excadrill. There is Cargo, Not the one from Celestial Storm. Nessa. But before we do put her back, I just want to say, Nessa made me like black girls a little bit more. So there's that. Yanma. Whooper. And Nessa does sound pretty exotic on Masters EX. Dedene. There is Piggy Peck. We have a cute little Choodle. He's such a little brat. A reverse holographic x blad with HP that is unbelievable. And a cute little Zekrom holographic. Which is pretty fitting for this great ball tin. After all, I have Reshiram and Zekrom tag team, which is pretty, pretty cool. That great ball did pretty great I'm not gonna lie lived up to its name unlike the luxury ball man but you know what it's not the name that pretty much matters it's whatever you put inside of that ball that counts so let's see if Blissey can give us some nice bliss so without further ado let's take our box cutter and get that little bubble right there popped oh yeah and we just put our blade down, get our finger in there, giggity, 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 and just tear that off. Tear it all the way off. After all, that's how you practice. <clears throat> Pardon me, sorry for getting M for mature. 
and the paper comes off, but the sticky does not. Let's just yank that out of there if we can. Boop, there we go. Now she's off. All right, the lid is undone, and that packaging is wonderful. Someone give that man a raise. But however, it's not just Blissy inside of here, I believe. As oh, he has a she has a friend, a cute little Pikachu, giving us a nice little gift, just like on Pokemon Go. I open up my gifts. Um, I'm not best friends, but um, three star friends first, then the plus four star. Then there's some nice stickers. I already got um, two of them on my computer and one of them on my phone after this recording. You guys can take the QR for yourself. That is, if you can try to scan it. And there's some extra codes on there. You can make those up for yourself. Get those taken care of. And who could forget this nice little code for Pokemon Go. And now the moment y'all been waiting for, yes, Pokemon Go TCG. Let's see what wonders await for us. Let's just close up this little casket. You know, Blissey does have titanic HP. She does work pretty well in the GBL, even though it is pretty hard. So they're both the same, so as per usual, I'll shuffle them up. Just to have a little bit of variety around this place. Let me get another swig of coffee. That's good stuff. Good, good stuff. It's 9.47 in the morning here in Edmonton, Alberta. I'm just finding my box cutter. I'm, yep, just give me a minute. I think I left it somewhere. There it is. Don't hide from me. So, let's pop the top off. Let's get her peeled off like a piece of skin on KFC chicken. And whoop, just like that. Now with these codes, it doesn't really matter if they're black border or white border. We're gonna get the same thing, say a holographic or something like that. Take that code for yourself. Uno, dos, trace, and quattro. Here we go. We have another water type energy, but before we do that, we must pat our precious little bee doll. And now we have a water type energy, of course. Steelix. We have Zatu. I have a shiny one. Slowbro. I also got a shiny Steelix on that game. Tranquil. Larvitar. Natu, not going to do that catchphrase. Ambipalm, I have a shiny one. Slowpoke. A first for this channel, a nice little Radiant Blastoise. And a Lapras Holographic. Oh yes, Radiant Pokemon are the new ones here. They're pretty much shinies with their own special little holographic. And I believe it's three of the Kanto starters pretty much, which is really cool. A double thumbs up right there. Oh yeah. Hope you enjoy that little hand eye work that I do on this. It is really, really cool. First ever. Though, of course, Charizard is pretty overrated. I mean, that guy's like four times a week to rock. I mean, just one little pebble and he's just out of there pretty much. So there's that. Really cool. Can go alongside our Reshiram and Zekrom. I should have put my Zekrom Hollow there, to be honest with you. Because that's another pull right there. So, in a way, we got three so far. I mean, after all, I haven't done this in a while. Don't blame me. I've just been mainly attached to a Mario Kart. So, take that code for yourself. Let's do our <laughs> little pack trick after adjusting my glasses. And away we go. Let's see what wonders. Ooh, burn, baby, burn. A fire type energy. We have Ivysaur. Poke stop. Oh, pardon me. Notification on my computer. Unpheasant. We have what looks like Magikarp right there. Oh, it also goes on my phone there too. Meltan. 
We have an Eevee. There's Pikachu. We have a Squirtle. Reverse Holographic Alolan Rattata. And another first for this channel, a Mewtwo V-Star. Wonder and full. Though the cutting is a little bit rough, but it might have been the first print run. I don't blame them. It's the first print run. Everybody's bound to make some mistakes. And you know what? That's okay. All I know is that's my first ever pull for a V-Star. I didn't have one before. That is amazing. Bit of a shame Rayquaza didn't get a V-Star treatment. But you know what? That's quite alright. That's also really nice. Let's open up another pack right here. Get our box cutter. Ka-ching. The packaging is off. And Larvitar is out. Another nice little code for you guys to take. Of course, so oh, upside down. I, I was a little bit tired, so take that for yourself. Apologies for having that upside down. One. Two. Three. And four. Because there's an extra energy or a V-Star counter. Ooh, grass type energy. Nice. Rare candy. It is quite rare. I usually use those to uh, update my my legendaries camera up. That is can Blanche. Blanche, sorry. Uh, we have Larvitar. Nitu. Another Ambi Palm. <laughs> Slowpoke. There is another Onyx drawn by the legendary Missy Hirorita. Moltres. I have a purified one. And a holographic Pikachu. Isn't that adorable? Before we move on to our final pack, let me just take another swig of coffee. Good stuff. Well, here's our final pack. Our last one. Let's get the top popped off. And I did do a check. There are no um, ditto cards. Oh, spoiler. Sorry. Ooh, a cute little spinner rack right there. And here's our final code right there for you. Now you may see a little something happening here. Nothing really supernatural or anything of the sort. So, there's that. So we got darkness type energy to close out for today. We have Pupitar. We have War Turtle. Another Poke Stop. There's Spinner Rack again. Wonderful. Alolan Rotata. Oh, and the lights went out, but I hope you can see it all right. I have my lights adjusted on my DVR, so you'll see me cut out Bidoof. Charmander, finally. Not that I'm a big fan of it. Pardon me. <laughs> There's Apom. A reverse holographic Larvitar to close out. Not a ditto card, unfortunately. And, huh, what do you know? Ain't that blissful. Coincidence? I think not. A blissy. Now, pardon me for a second while I get everything adjusted here. I believe a camera does um, cut out from here. I accidentally pressed stop recording on this, but I had to adjust my lights, so... Let me just, um, yeah, just give me a minute. Now the lights are back on. And, well, we actually got four pulls, counting our Zekrom Hollow. I don't really count the holographics from this set, but they're nice. So make sure, if you do enjoy this video, that you like, comment, and subscribe. This has been NES Studios Production. I'm your host, Bertendo. Peace.